babies welcome back to my channel i am so excited to be doing this video as you can see by the title this is going to be an apartment haul i've been wanting to do this video for a while and i didn't have time to do it but i just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I accumulated over the past month or so for my new apartment that i'm moving into if you don't know i am moving in like the next month or so so around August, September, I don't have an exact move-in date yet because I'm still communicating with the um, apartment place that I want to move to about availability because I kind of want either between a two-bedroom, two-bathroom or a two-bedroom, one-bathroom, but it just depends on what is going to be available at that time and I'm trying to move as soon as possible. So yeah, so the stores that I shopped at um, so far were Home Goods at Home, TJ Maxx, and am I missing something? I think that's all the stores that I shopped at so far. But this is just the first apartment haul that I'm going to have in this little series. Because I'm going to do some different type of apartment videos. Especially when I go um, and view it or whatever. Because it's two hours from where I live right now. So I'm going to be in a new city. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the items. So this is in no particular order, but the first thing that I have is this waffle maker. And it's just a little red mini waffle maker. I got it from TJ Maxx. It is $6. I got it on clearance. So I decided to get this because I'm not a huge breakfast eater, but I know I want to start eating breakfast a little bit more. So I decided to get a mini waffle maker instead of the big ones that they have. So I don't feel obligated to get a big meal, but I really like waffles. So I wanted to try this out and see if it would work. The next item I got is also from TJ Maxx and I got these two items at the same time, I believe. It's just a little organizer that you can use to put your hair utensils in. So it has this hole right here where you can put your blow dryer nozzle and then two compartments where I'll probably be putting like um, hairspray and combs and brushes and stuff. It's just like a clear kind of plastic acrylic type. I think I may put this on my bathroom sink, depending on how big it is, because I'm not sure yet, or it may go in my beauty room, but yeah. The next item I have are some hangers. I got these hangers from At Home, and this is the only item I got from At Home. It comes with a pack of 25. It's the slim kind, so they're wired at the top, and they're really slim, and it has like a kind of like the theme I'm going for for my beauty room. So I plan to put these on a rack, um, or maybe in my closet, I'm not sure. I really like these type of hangers because they're really slim, and I thought these are pretty because they go in like a little ombre. And I thought that was really cute. So that's why I picked these. And these were $9.99. The next items I have are some face towels. And I got these face towels from Target. They are by the Room Essentials brand. They come eight in a pack. I decided to get this navy blue and a gray because that's kind of like the theme I'm going for in my main bathroom. If I get a second bathroom, I think I'm going to go with like a pale pink and like white. I'm not sure. But this is what I want to do for the master bedroom. And you'll see why in a few. So the next item is I got this from Target. Also it is my shower curtain and so you see why I wanted to go with the blue theme. This shower curtain as you can see is um, navy blue and it has a floral print on it. Actually I saw this exact shower curtain on Pinterest and that's what made me get it. And that's why I decided to go with this theme. So I knew I wanted to do something floral because I saw somebody's bathroom, I think, on Instagram. And I really liked this. So I was looking for like a floral print shower curtain. So I searched it on Pinterest and I saw this one. I looked it up, saw it was from Target. And then I went to my local Target and I found that it was the last one. I believe it was $20. So not really too expensive, not really too like affordable I guess but I really wanted it so I just got it and then to go with that shower curtain I just got this room essentials shower liner it was only a few bucks not sure the exact price but um, yeah I just went and got a shower liner the next items I got are more hangers and these are so cute to me I love these hangers so I got these from Home Goods, and y'all know when you go to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, or wherever stores like that, you have to get things like this when you see them, or when you come back, they won't be there. So these packs, I had two. There were only two packs there. They were $9.99 a piece, and they are wood hangers for pants. So the top is like this 
metal copper and so is the bottom and it has this olive green wood so I was planning to use these as like pant hangers for my nice jeans or maybe nice slats I'm not exactly sure but I could not pass these up and I went ahead and got both packs the next item I have is this rug so this is like a hand woven rug I got it from five below and it was only five dollars so the apartment I'm moving to also comes with a balcony so I thought I would do like a boho chic kind of theme with the balcony and I thought this rug was perfect it has all these different colors on it and I thought it was just really really cute and would go with the theme of what I'm going for for my balcony the next item I have is this little faux plant and I got this from TJ Maxx I believe I'm not sure of the price on it because I've had it for a little bit and um it just has like the faux plant at the top it's green and then it's white at the bottom i think i'm going to put this on my office desk maybe or in somewhere in my beauty room the next item i have is this flower pot i got this flower pot from tj maxx as well and the reason i had got this and I didn't use it um, was because my boyfriend bought me flowers one day and I was like, oh my gosh, I need a flower pot. So I included it in his, this haul because I am going to be bringing this to my new apartment and it is fairly new. It's just this green color and it was only $7.99. So I'm going to be putting different plants in here. I think like real um, plants, I'm just gonna switch them out and put them here. The next item I got is just a candle by DW Home. I love these little candles. This thing is called Calming Waves. And guys, I burned it a little bit because I wanted to see what it smelled like, but I'm planning to put this in my beauty room when I'm ready to relax or maybe in the bathroom when I wanna wind down after a long day. And it really, the scent is amazing. And I just love the color of it. It was really cute. And the next thing is this wired basket. It's kind of hard to see, but this basket um, is all black. It's wired and it has these copper hooks on the side. But I got this basket for $12.99 at TJ Maxx. It was originally $20. The story behind this, I saw this basket at the store at home for $20. I passed it up because I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to pay $20 for that. So I ended up going to TJ Maxx like a week later and I saw the exact one. And of course it said $12.99 compare at $20. So I'm glad about that. What I'm using it for is for the living room. I'm gonna put like throw blankets in there next to the couch. So just in case anybody ever gets cold or anything, they can go ahead and put get a blanket, like a little throw blanket out of the wire basket and stay warm. The last thing I have is this Room Essentials garment rack. It's kind of hard for me to show in the video. So a picture is going to be there. But this garment rack with a shelf is the next thing that I got. And I believe it was about $24, $25. I picked it out because I saw Jayla Corian do a video. I got this really recently. I saw her do a video and she had a garment rack. And I've been looking for one like this. And I don't have an Ikea near me yet, but when I move, I'm gonna be by Ikea. But I really liked how this one was set up. It's all black, it has like a rack at the bottom. So I'm probably gonna use this in my beauty room to put all of my new pieces that I want to haul and do like try on hauls for and put new shoes on the bottom rack. And I just think it's really cute when you do that type of setup when you do hauls and lookbooks. So guys, that completes my haul. That's everything that I've gotten so far. It's not a ton of stuff, but like I said, I will be doing more hauls and showing you guys more stuff that I get for my apartment. I'll be taking you along the way. I'll be doing different apartment DIYs and things like that for the rest of the summer. So I'm really excited because I am an HGTV fanatic. And if you guys watch HGTV, um, especially as an adult, you probably know like are so into home stuff. So I watch videos like this all the time. Everything that I wanted to share with you guys um, if you are new here, please thumbs up this video and subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for sticking with me. So I will see you guys in my next video and I love you. Bye babies.